Okay, mga kaibigan, mga babayan. So, papogi muna tayo. So, nasa malaking mirror ako ngayon. So, later, itutur ko kayo dun sa loob ng tunnel. May kita nyo kung ano yung uh, inside the TBM machine and how the TBM machine function. Kasi we have a uh, testing and commissioning there. And papakita ko po sa inyo yon kung paano yung ginagawa natin and ano yun sa loob ng tunnel. So, nandito ako ngayon sa may... Uh, board area din bago pumasok sa tunneling site so abangan nyo po yun yun so nandito naman ako sa loob ng cabin nyo I'm here inside the cabin so this is the control room of the tunnel boring machine so from here you can see all the details of the tunnel boring machine here all the parameters is there then the circuit how the slurry run or this how the machine run is here so this is the control room so normally once the TPM started to do the mining or erection we will monitor on this uh, control room so that we know if they follow the instruction sheet normally we have a instruction sheet to follow and we need to be ensured that they follow the design face pressure so this is the control room This machine is made from Germany. Okay, so just a little bit idea. So I hope you have a uh, little bit idea about what is the tunneling works. And most, most especially, they were going to start the tunneling works in Philippines. So maybe this one uh, can give you a little bit uh, idea uh, how the tunnel boring machine works and how we monitor it. That's why only specialists and uh, certified person only allowed to do the tunneling works because it's quite risky. Okay, so mga buhay po mga Pilipino, long live, God bless us all. Boom! Okay, so nandito na naman ako ngayon sa, ano, sa Manlock area. So ito yung tinatawag na Manlock area. So from here dito yung uh, mga tao na kailangan pumasok so dadaan sila sa compression and decompression lalo na kung nasa CHI tayo yung tinatawag na CHI yung cutter head intervention kung may mga repair or uh, maintenance na gagawin so nag stop muna yung uh, mining natin yung TBM natin then kailangan pumasok yung uh, mga tao dito for compression and decompression para magawa yung mga may problema dun sa harapan ng TBM natin. So, ito yung pinaka uh, head ng TBM. So, ito yung uh, manlock uh, area na tinatawag. So, ito po yan. So, later I will show you that area uh, yung pinaka unahan ng TBM. Abangan. So, nandito ngayon sa may front shield. So, ito yung area kung saan yung uh, pinaka head ng TBM. So normally uh, pag may mga repairs dito so after noon sa may uh, uh, sa manlock natin so after nila doon so papasok sila dito dito yung pinaka main access para ma-repair yung mga uh, cutting wheels natin so yun yung pinaka head ng TBM machine So ito uh, papakita ko mamaya yung pinaka location niyan kung saan yung pinaka main access so nandito ngayon sa may unahan so abangan niyo yan mga kaibigan yan Okay so from here may kita natin yung uh, access dun sa may uh, cutter wheels location so diyan yung uh, pinaka head ng TBM machine So, nandiyan yung mga cutter wheels natin. So, pag may mga uh, intervention o may mga repairs, dyan po mapasok yung tao after dun sa uh, mandak para i-repair yung mga damage na wheels or may mga uh, may mga problema o barado dyan sa area na yan or may mga sira yung mga uh, cutter wheels natin. So, yan yung portion na yan. So, ngayon dito makikita natin. Uh, nandito ako ngayon sa may front shield pa rin so makikita nyo yung mga truss jack dyan na yan yung mga nagpo-push dun sa segment during the segment uh, erection lalo na pag ano, uh, tapos ng mining so nasa testing and commissioning kami this time kaya pinapakita ko po sa inyo so hindi pa siya po di uh, functioning uh, nasa testing and commissioning kami so later makikita nyo yung mga 
uh, testing and uh, commissioning namin sa mga ibang parts ng uh, TBM machine. Abangan nyo yan. Boom! So, this one is the testing and commissioning of the vacuum at the erector. So, we want to ensure that uh, this part is functioning well. So, we need to test and we look how this one uh, functioning. So, this one is the testing and uh, commissioning of the crusher. So, this is uh, also part of the TBM. Uh, actually, ito yung sa pinakaunahan. And crusher uh, plays a very important role in mining. Lalo na pag sa mga hard part area ng soil na minamine natin. So, we need to check that this one is functioning well. Most especially the hydraulic part of this uh, uh, of this part of the machine. So, yan. Tinecheck po natin yan. And we need to ensure that this one is functioning well. And uh, next is the submerged gate. Ito rin yun na sa unahan ng TBM. So, we need to ensure that this one is uh, functioning well also. So, the open-close uh, status should be checked para ma-insure natin na nagpa-function siya ng maayos. So, yan yung mga testing and commissioning natin. And we also continue test all the pumps and all the motors are running uh, smoothly and uh, running uh, very well para masigurado natin na bago tayo mag-start ng uh, tunneling or ng mining, bago mag-move yung TBM is uh, they functioning well. So, kanina nakita nyo yung, uh, yung cutter, cutter wheel area natin. So, yan, chinecheck. So, nakikita nyo yun, umiikot dun sa loob. So, yan na yung uh, pinaka-cutter natin. So, yan, yan na yung nagkakat ng soil. So, sinasamahan nyo ng uh, slurry para maging smooth yung mining. And we need to maintain the desired or the design pressure para wala maging problema. So, yan, chinecheck po natin yan yung mga parts ng TBM natin. So, makikita natin yan dito sa may uh, TBM uh, monitor natin. Dito sa may cable ng monitoring natin sa TBM. So, kailangan natin may ensure na this one all in uh, uh, correct parameters and all is uh, functioning well bago tayo makapag-start. So, this one naman, may kita nyo yung uh, testing and commissioning namin sa erector. Itong erector is siya yung uh, uh, kumukuha ng segment. Siya yung nagdadala ng segment and uh, ini-erect nyo yan dyan after ng mining. So, we need to ensure that this one also functioning well para hindi tayo magkaroon ng problema or delay once na nag-start na tayo ng mining. So, chinecheck po natin yan. So, meron tayong mga forms na... Uh, mga checklist na dapat i-accomplish bago natin ma-accept na this one is okay. So, yan. Nakikita nyo po na nag-move siya. So, so far, smooth yung uh, uh, movement ng elector natin. So, yan. Continuous pa rin yung uh, testing and commissioning natin ng parts ng uh, TBM. Ito kasama ko yung, mga ta yung senior tunnel engineer para sa checking nito. Okay, mga kaibigan, mga kababayan, so I'm sharing with you uh, some of the uh, checklist and uh, acceptance form that we conducted in testing and commissioning of some parts of the TBM. So, from here, may kita nyo po yung, ano, yung mga uh, na-check na natin and we need to ensure that this one all running well and functioning well bago natin i-accept. So, without our signature, uh, this uh, acceptance will not be valid. So, we need our signature to validate that this uh, testing is com and commissioning will uh, accepted and they run smoothly and they, they functioning well. So, they need uh, our signature and presence. So, we need to witness that one and uh, certify that all is in uh, good condition and running well. So, hanggang dito na lang mga kababayan and abangan nyo po yung susunod na vlog natin.
Mabuhay po ang tunay na Pilipino sa isip, salita at sa gawa at lahat ng OFW saan man sa mundo ay lahat ng OFW engineer saan man sa mundo. So mabuhay po tayong lahat. Salamat po tayo sa Diyos dahil binigyan tayo ng chance na ma-experience yung mga ganitong bagay na specialist lang talaga yung nabibigyan ng chance na makapagtrabaho sa mga ganito. Salamat po, mabuhay po, and God bless us all. Bye! Bye. And kung bago pa lang po kayo sa channel ko, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell for more update. And kung bago pa lang po kayo, watch this video first so that you have idea ano po yung mga uh, sinishare nating uh, video dito sa channel natin. God bless us all po and mabuhay! to subscribe in my youtube channel just click the subscribe button and the notification bells for more video updates thank you